Does anyone still need a ship? All right, let's see if my stream is working. Beast, can you fly a Courser? Or, or, or a Catalyst? Alright, looks like the stream is working. Beast, check your contract. Whoever is Mr. Nice, uh, are you coming along? You'll probably make it the 15 jumps if you're in a... Alrighty, we are live. Let's take a look at how the fleet is doing. I shall start my usual new brooch spiel here and uh, give it another three or four minutes since it looks like we're still fleeting up. Mr. Nice, I'm not hearing anything on voice comms from you. I'm not sure who you are in Eve. Gonna need another interceptor pilot right now. Jeff Jeff's our only scout. Uh, Nikuru can do that. Say again? Nikuru can do that, the interceptor thing. Awesome. Nikuru, do you need do you need a scepter? I have one, Mr. Stiletto, if that's fine. So the uh, most important thing as a scout for one of our rooms is local count. If you tell me nothing other than local count, you've done your job. Um, I like to hear though, you know, local count, grid is clear, scan is clear, so basically, you know, it's like 27 and Doral, grid and scan are clear, and then when you are approaching the outgate, calling that the outgate is clear, you know, outgate clear, if the system is friendly, just say system friendly. You don't need to report local count of when it's just our fleet members, okay? Because I don't. Oh, sure. I don't think you've uh, scouted for us before. Nope, I don't. <laughs> it's been a while since I was on the Redemption Road fleet. Ah, well, if you've uh, flown with us before, you're fairly familiar then with our wonderful scouts. Hey, worst case scenario, we can always YOLO it. But it's uh, wonderful having some scepter pilots because, you know, you guys, you tackle, you hold the target till we arrive and kill it without scouts. Well, it's a lot more challenging to kill. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll give it another two more minutes in case there's anybody else wanting to fleet up. Looks like most everybody's on a ship, in a ship, a few people still heading to Berta. And then I shall get going. Yeah, Coaster is um, offering the scepter too. Yeah, Coaster knows how to scout. If you got a scepter for me, I can get in one and catch up. Where are you at? Far, far away. <laughs> 20 odd <laughs> jumps out from you, sorry. Don't you have a uh, jump clone in Berta? Just recently, I killed it because of for other places. <sighs> I know, I'm bad. I'm sorry. Stop sucking. Stop sucking. 
oh my god, that was, that was like the old agony, you know, coming out on, because that was the thing in agony, we always said stop sucking, and it was almost always said as a term of endearment. Alrighty, fleet is up. Coaxer, check your contracts. I see it, sir. Thank you. Okay, so first thing before I start uh, getting into my usual new bro roam spiel. If you are a new player, meaning you've been playing EVE less than three months, or you are new to PvP, please X up in Fleet Chat. <clears throat> no trolls. This means I put you at the top of my watch list so I can kind of keep track that you're staying with the fleet, not falling behind, still alive, that kind of thing. And sometimes other people will throw money at you. And if this is your first time ever going on a room or a null sick room, Go ahead and next up. Welcome aboard, ship dealer. You are never too old to roam for the first time. Okay, Penny, you welcome to Eve. You haven't been playing very long. Uh, this is old. Ah. I've been playing for off and on for ten years. Well, awesome. Yeah, I'm uh. Almost 11 years. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, May. You've been playing about four months. Alright, so there's some very basic stuff I won't need to go through. Um, I'm also having a little lag because my internet isn't quite what it used to be because they had to redo the, um, they're, they're in the process of repairing the fiber line due to a landslide, uh, rock slide when we had the uh, foot of snowfall a week and a half ago. Alright, let me take a look at the fleet. Want more DPS. But the fleet is looking good. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's get going. So first thing I just want to go over a couple of things. Uh, especially the fleet window and overview settings. Then we will undock and head into Nullsec. Um... Yeah, 14 hops away, Ari. You should, you should make it about time that we're ready to undock. And anybody who isn't here, by the time we undock, I always start out moving us into Nullsec pretty slow to buy a little bit more time, but also just to get everybody moving together. Uh, hello, am I in time for the room? Yes. Let me... Okay, uh, Thosaki Kalkan, and I just uh, added him to Redemption Road channel. Gen C, if you can give him a fleet invite. Already right, done. All right, make sure he gets in the Discord. Uh, so the first yeah, thing I want. You're welcome. Uh, yes, Gak, you can get a ship. So first thing I want to go over is your fleet window, which is really important. Um, you want to make sure you have your fleet window open. And it doesn't need, you don't need to keep it really big or anything. If your fleet window isn't open, you'll find the button for it on your button bar on the left side of your screen. And Othello, do your little blue link thing, please. Uh, it looks like three um, arrowheads pointing up. That's the fleet window button. If you don't see that on your button bar, 
just go click the big E in the upper left corner and then go to social and then go to fleet. In case you didn't know, anything you see on the E menu in the upper left corner, you can actually click and drag any item on that those menus directly onto your button bar so you can customize your button bar however you want. So, fleet window. Most important thing about fleet window is broadcasts. At the bottom of the fleet window, anytime somebody broadcasts something, you will actually see it there. So somebody go ahead and broadcast something because I can't broadcast from window uh, when I'm in a station. So like Othello just broadcast Othello War Spider Z location Berta. Um, and any broadcast you see there at the bottom of the fleet window, you can interact with that just like you would the overview. So like I could right click on it and go, you know, kick member from fleet. Or if I was undocked, I could go warp to member. Uh, warp to pilot, things like that. Uh, if the broadcast is for a station, uh, a system, a destination, a station, you can set destination to it. Uh, this is particularly handy when you're in a big fight and there's the overview is going really crazy and there's all kinds of movement on it and it's going up and down and you know FC's broad, you know, broadcasting targets and you're struggling to find the target on the overview. Well, if you look at the broadcasts on the fleet window, you'll you can just control click and target lock somebody right there on the on the broadcast. Uh, instead of having to try and struggle to keep up with it on the overview. Uh, now, of course, it only shows the most recent over uh, broadcast, and that's this is where the fleet window really becomes awesome. I click the history tab. If you click the history tab on the fleet window, you will see all the broadcasts, all the recent broadcasts. So, say FC Ed, you know, called set destination as something. Uh, instead of having to like kind of embarrass yourself that you weren't paying attention or the significant other was distracting you or something, you can just look at the broadcast history real quick and set the destination instead of having to ask and comes FC where to. Uh, you can also filter your broadcast history, uh, color code it, things like that. Um, I think you can color code it. I can't remember actually. Well, I know you can filter it. And, oh, no, it's the watch list I can color code. <laughs> uh, so that is really useful though. So if you miss any broadcasts, you can always look in the broadcast history to see what the most recent uh, broadcasts are. At the bottom of the fleet window, just below where the broadcasts are shown, you'll see eight buttons, and those are shortcut buttons to for the most common broadcasts you would use as a fleet member, of which the two most common, although you won't really use them on our own today, is broadcast need armor or broadcast need shield. Very important when you broadcast for armor or you broadcast for shield when you're yelling for reps, just click it once. Don't spam the broadcast for shield or armor button. It'll piss off Logi pilots to no extent and they'll slow boat get keeping you alive because you've pissed them off. Just click it once and if you're not getting any reps and it's been, you know, a notable amount of time, go ahead and click it a second time but leave it at that. If you spam the broadcast for reps buttons, you, you yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> Make sh uh, logic pilots can be very passive aggressive. <laughs> uh, so you can go ahead and resize your fleet window and put it someplace on your screen. Some you know, resize it nice and small and put it someplace on your screen where it's kind of out of the way but still looks visible. Uh, you don't need to leave it really big. Definitely don't need to leave it the default size. So. Uh, yeah, I color code broad. Okay, so you can color code broadcasts. All right, thank you. I completely forgot about that. So um, to broadcast the uh, to color code your broadcast if you wanted to, it's actually in the broadcast settings on the fleet window. So next thing about the fleet window, or some well, not exactly the fleet window, but related to fleets, is the watch list. So you're going to need to set up a watch list. Let me go ahead and tell you who will be on the watch list. First, I need to look at the fleet comp.
All right, so these are the people you're going to want to put on the uh, your watch list, and I will explain how to do that in a moment. Uh, wait, not space warfare development. Somehow I don't think he's going to be scouting for us. There we go. All right, so you'll want to put Jeff and Nikaru, Gen Z, Ari, and myself on your watch list. So, how do I put somebody on my watch list? Right-click any one of those names. Right-click any of them. Then select Fleet. Then select Add to Watch List. That will spawn yet another window. And then once you have you know, spawned a watch list window, you can just click and drag the other names I have linked into your watch list. So why do you need people on your watch list? Well, because these those people are the people you are most often going to be warping to. And it's a lot quicker when you hear somebody say, warp to Gen Z, or, you know, warp to Nikaru, or the ever-dreaded, warp to me, who is me? Um, <laughs> just, yeah, you can see them right there at the top of your watch list, and you can warp right to them a lot quicker than trying to find them in the fleet window, or in local, or whatever. Yeah, Othella, I was like, whoa, what are you doing in a... Uh, Interceptor. I never see you in a scepter. That is the first time I've ever seen you in a scepter. But I figured it's just because you were traveling. Uh, and of course, you'll want me on there because, well, I'm the FC. And then for the rest of the watch list, if you want, you can just fill it up with other names, you know, the rest of the fleet or something if you want. You don't have to. I actually fill mine up so I can have at a glance because you can put up to 15 people on the watch list. Um, the status of the fleet, you know, how many people are in hull, that kind of thing. Uh, if you're a Logi pilot, you would set up your watch list a little bit differently. We are all armed and dangerous, Rad. Okay, so let's go ahead and undock, undock, and the moment you undock, hit control space. Control space is your friend. That's adorable, Hagen. <laughs> he just linked the uh, arrow to the undock button. <laughs> but control space as you undock, control space as you undock. Now, the Berta station is a kickout station, so even though we've hit control space and stopped right after we undocked. We're actually outside of the docking radius of the Berta station. But most stations, <coughs> excuse me, most stations actually have an undock radius of several kilometers where you can just float out of the station forever and ever and ever. It seems like the Jita station. It's got a huge undock. So long as you see yourself at zero meters, you are within the undock radius of the station. Why does this matter? You say, well, that's because when you undock, you have 30 seconds of invulnerability where nobody can attack you or hurt you or kill you or target lock you. And anything you do that's offensive or initiates some sort of movement, such as aligning to something, starting to initiate a warp, you know, activating any kind of offensive mod, will break that 30 seconds of invulnerability except for control space. So, say you're uh, under war deck and you're in Jita and you see flashy reds, you know, in local chat. Well, undock from the station, hit control space, take a look around. All right, I don't see any flashy reds on grid with me. Warp off. Uh, oh no, <laughs> there's a bunch of flashy reds as I undock. Well, guess what? Since you're still in the docking radius, you can just go ahead and redock and still be under that 30 second, as long as it's less than 30 seconds, still be under that invulnerability, and they weren't able to touch you. It's uh, saved m uh, me and others, I'm sure, many a time. 
and it irritates the heck out of people or targets in particular. All right, now, of course, the same is sort of the true. Fireworks are, are making it hard to hear you. Oh, I don't know who's shooting fireworks. You can turn down world volume in the audio settings. Hit escape and look in those windows. Yes, Eve has sound, although mine tends to be really low. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so with citadels, of course, you have a tether range. When you undock from a station or a, te or a citadel, you are undocking at maximum speed, maximum subwarp speed, and within five degrees of the, the undock point. So in, when you undock from a citadel, the same thing is true. Control space will stop you, so that way you won't roam out of the tether range. But uh, there's no real invulnerability, per se, when you undock from a citadel. What there is is the tether range. And so long as you are tethered, you're essentially invulnerable. But don't go AFK while sitting on a citadel, because people like us will come along and even in our frigates, we will do everything we can to bump you out of that tether range if you're AFK tethered on a citadel and then kill you. Remember, shortly after the citadels first came out, we you know, people we did that to two capitals in Providence in one room. And one of them actually filed a support ticket saying we used an exploit. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. Everybody go ahead and align align to Judai. Align align Judai. You'll see that broadcasted. Thank you, Othello. So uh oh wait, before I forget, overview settings. Oh, sorry, just reading fleet chat real quick. Uh, overview settings. You do not want to see fleet members on your overview. You should see no purple on the overview. If you see purple on the overview, let me walk you through how to change that. Yeah, I know there's all kinds of like overview packs and stuff out there, but I'd rather explain how to make this change. Uh, so that way you know how to make this kind of a change. And I strongly encourage you to dig into overview settings and play with overview settings and that way you can customize it for yourself instead of having to like learn somebody else's default pack, overview setting pack. Not that there's anything wrong with those. Many of them are outstanding, but I think knowing how to build your own, you know, edit and build your own overview is much better. So upper left corner of the overview, the little E setting buttons looks like four lines. Just on your overview, click that and then go open overview settings. Once you have opened your overview settings, click the tab named tab presets and then click the tab named states. Scroll down to the bottom and four or five up from the bottom you should see something that says pilot is in your fleet you want to select the middle radio button. When you hover over it, it will say filter out. And that will remove fleet members from your overview. You do not want fleet members on your overview because, well, that can lead to friendly fire, especially when you're trying to, you know, target lock a target, but the overview... <coughs> <coughs> but the overview is moving a lot. Well, yeah, that's how friendly fire accidents happen. So no fleet members on your overview. All right. But you, for situational purposes and knowing where you are in relationship to the rest of the fleet and targets and things like that, you still want to be able to see where your fleet members are. So you want to make sure you have your brackets off. You should see a whole bunch of little purple triangles in the middle of the screen. If you do not see a bunch of little purple triangles in the middle of the screen, we need to turn your brackets on. Go back to your overview, upper left corner of the overview, click the little four line box, you know, the little four line button, and then go show all brackets. And you will see all the little purples in the middle of the screen. <laughs> 
Yay! Friendly purple. I love purple. Um, that's really handy to know how to turn your brackets on and off because if you're in a big fight where there's 2,000 people on grid, turning off brackets can actually help with some of the screen lag that can happen. Some of the, um, you know, how things can get, well, maybe you don't know, but when you're in a, in a, on grid with a thousand, two thousand players, sometimes it can just really bog down. I'm not even talking about tie-dye, I'm talking about the graphics. And being turning off your brackets can give you a small, tiny bit of um, performance improvement. All right, so back to aligning. Everybody align, align Judai. The easiest way to align to something is to double click on it. In this case, double click on Judai on your overview and you'll start aligning to it. Most of you are already aligned from earlier. You can also align to something by clicking the uh, align to button in the upper, and for most of us, the upper right corner of our screen, the selected item window, click the align to button, or by selecting it and pressing the a key on your keyboard or right clicking and going align to but really the easiest way is to simply double click on it note you can align to something by double clicking on it on the screen like in the middle of the screen so say you see judai in the distance you can actually just double click on it to align to it you can also double click randomly in space to align warping fleet for the most part we do aligned fleet warps why because look at that. When everybody is aligned, you see us all enter warp at exactly the same time. The server treats aligned fleet warps as one big warp. So when everybody is aligned, which means everybody is pointing within, uh, it's either 5 or 15 degrees of the celestial object that we're warping to, or whatever object it is we're warping to, and is above 75% of their uh, subwarp speed, you're aligned. And as you should have noticed, we all landed together. And that's the beauty of aligned fleet warps, because we all enter warp together, we all land together, and when you all land together, it makes it a lot harder for any opposing target that we're about to land on to figure out who do they want to primary. <coughs> <coughs> Man, my allergies are bad today. Smoking don't help. Okay, so when you do an unaligned fleet warp where everybody's entering warp separately, first to land is first to die. Everybody randomly double click in space, turn on your prop mod for one or two cycles, and this is called a scatter. So everybody scatter, scatter. That's okay, you see it here in timeline. Langu duck. Uh, yeah, remind me about uh, making sure everybody sets their clones after I'm done with the uh, warping stuff. What's the prop mod? Ah, prop mod. That is your afterburner or your micro warp drive. I better put ammo in my guns. Cold warping fleet. This time I'm doing a warp where we're not aligned. And you'll notice we enter warp in drips and drabs. And we will land in drips and drabs. Nowhere near as pretty a fleet warp. So if there was a fleet waiting for us and I did a cold warp, an unaligned fleet warp, to the target, well, whoever landed first would be targeted first, would be primary first, and would be the first to die. Sometimes that's a handy thing, you know, you sacrifice somebody so they're all busy shooting that while everybody else arrives, but it's not a particularly good strategy to use all the time. Alright, let's do another aligned fleet warp. Everybody align, align to the Berta station. That's the Amatar Consulate Bureau. <coughs> I 
I'm a female Bob Ross. <laughs> I love Bob Ross, by the way. Have my whole life. <laughs> okay. Looks like most of us are aligned. Warping fleet back to the station. As we warp, scroll in, scroll in onto the fleet. And look at that beautiful fleet warp. Almost 11 years playing EVE, and it's still so beautiful to me. Othello, you really have no idea who Bob Ross is. Oh, somebody link a YouTube Bob Ross video to him, and he can look at it later. Alrighty. <coughs> Purple furball. Yes. Okay, so uh, if you have not already set the Berta station as your wake-up station, as your medical clone station, go ahead and dock up and do so. Uh, actually, you can do that either at the Berta station or at the Squirrel Freeport. This is where you will wake up when I get us all killed, and it's just handy to wake up in Berta because then we can reship a lot quicker. Well, especially if you got one of the free ships we handed out, go ahead and dock up and insure it so you can get some free ISK when I get us killed. Ooh, that's good, Jeff. Hopefully, Test will bring us a fight. That's what I'm hoping. I thought him to get the sort of off, but it's definitely one of the regular scouts in the Mm hmm. All right, what have I forgotten to go over that I usually go over, guys? Prepare to die. <laughs> uh, security settings. Um, so, yeah, well, that doesn't matter in NullSec, your uh, safety settings. That doesn't matter in NullSec. I generally recommend orange or green when you're in high sec or low sec, depending upon your personal preference. But when we're in null sec, it doesn't matter because there's no criminal watch, no concord in null oh, sec. Yeah. Bubbles and bombs. And, oh, autopilot. Oh, somebody's calling me. Well, I will answer the phone later. So, uh, as soon as my phone stops ringing, I will keep talking. I'm Are showing... I'm throwing, showing five scepters and two dictors. Do you want to swap one of those out? Want me to take a command as he, Gigi? Uh, yeah, and maybe one of the scepter pilots switch into uh, a catalyst. Ooh, seven! I didn't see you join fleet. Awesome! Okay, so my phone stopped ringing. So, upper left corner of your screen, or, well, not quite the upper left, but the upper left side of your screen. Where the word route or route is, you'll see a letter A next to that. And, oh, thank you, Hagen. You did the uh, little blue arrow there. Click that, and you want to set prefer shorter. So click the A and select prefer shorter for your autopilot setting. And we will, uh, you heard Bob Ross and had to come. Awesome. <laughs> okay, and uh, I am streaming this. Doesn't look like anybody's actually watching the stream, but hey, you know, to get affiliate settings, I got to stream X number of ad hours. Uh, X number of hours is streamed in like a month or something. So anyway, we'll go ahead and take a quick two-minute bio, and then we by then everybody should be here. Let me take a look at the fleet. So if you need to go grab a sandwich or use the restroom real quick, go for it right now. Let's take a look at... Ooh, now we got lots of destroyers. Loving it. Good amount of DPS. Some nice jams. Uh, actually, Space Warfare Development, he won't stay in a scepter. Today I see Othello in a scepter on a roam. Scouting for us will be 
the day I should retire from me. <laughs> Fleet is looking good. Alright, so at uh, 2035, about a minute and a half from now, we will head on out. And Jason's waiting for us in Mafrata as usual. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hoaxter is an alcohol-based life form. I have never... That is... <laughs> Did you see him, how he was dressed that one year at... Uh, was it FanFest? <laughs> or <E> Vegas? <laughs> uh, Scarlet, the... Um, the fitting tool doesn't take into accounting something. I can't remember what it is. Uh... But that's why you'll see a, a, a slight variance. Nope, scope peaked. You can stay in uh, whatever you want to fly. Scope a cue. All right. Oh, I better refill my soda. I'll be right back, and then we shall head out. Alright, if you're not back from break, please X up and fleet. Never gets old. It never does. If you have a portable headset, it kind of makes it funny. Not as funny. <laughs> Okay, somebody just did a boost. Uh, Languedoc, you're still six jumps out? Why didn't that... Oh, I see where you are. Yeah, you should... You should be able to catch up with us. Oh, no, you are in Berta. Okay, I'm reading old chat. Oops. Yep, I'm here. All right, so we just have one person who's still catching up, but uh, pasteurized, just make best speed. All right. If you are docked up, go ahead and undock and dock. We're going to set dust out of all me. Broadcasting destination. Everybody align, align, should do. Warping fleet, should do. There are two standing orders that 
not only we have in our fleet, but virtually every fleet you have will have the same two standing orders. And that is hold on gate when we land on a gate, and then hold cloak when we go through the gate. So hold on gate, that's a standing order. Even if I don't say hold on gate, you hold on the gate unless I've ordered to jump on contact. Hold on gate means don't jump. All right, don't go through the gate. If you do, you're a lemming. And you're also kind of expected to do recon. So if you're the that guy who goes through the gate when we're supposed to be holding, expect to be on the spot and give recon on what's going on in the system. Everyone go ahead and jump, jump, hold cloak. Hold cloak whenever we go through a gate. That's a standing order. That means when we go through the gate, don't do anything. Don't start to align. Don't start to warp. Don't don't do anything because when we come through a gate you have 60 seconds of invulnerability and you're also under what we call gate cloak you are basically you are cloaked nobody can see you on on grid nobody can touch you nobody can hurt you nobody can tackle you 60 seconds in eve is a very very long time literally entire regions have been lost uh, it, well, okay, not exactly lost in 60 seconds. They forgot to pay the bill, but that took less than 60 seconds to not pay a bill. Anyway, um, <laughs> so say you come through a gate, and there's a gate camp there, a bunch of flashies, whatever. In that 60 seconds, you can take a deep breath, always take a deep breath, and take a look around, see where they're positioned. Do I go ahead and take a chance and make a run for it? Or do I pre-overheat my micro-warp drive by, you know, clicking it while still cloaked and then make a run for it and cry, try and ca crash the gate? More often than not, trying to crash the gate is going to be your, your best bet when you jump into a gate camp. Go ahead and align align eye hall. Align what? Align, align, eye haul. And remember, you can always see what uh, the align order is by looking at the broadcast on the fleet window. I get a yellow box by an Ashimu on the gate, the Mifrata gate. Really? Warping fleet eye haul? He's aggressed me. I'm jumping back through. There's an Ashimu and a Triglavian Advanced Logistics Sticks ship with them. Well, we got 39 assorted frigates and destroyers. Coaxer can... Oh, no, don't, well, you, he's right on the gate, Coaxer, if you go through and bait him. Yeah. Oh, my uh, cap's totally drained. Jump, jump, <laughs> jump, jump. You're going through. Yeah, keep him interested because he's flashy now, which means we can engage him and not have to worry about gate guns. Um, nobody's anchor, Rad. I'll, I'll explain it. I'll talk about anchor here in a moment. Cold warping fleet, Mifrada. If you miss the warp, warp yourself. Jump, jump into, uh, eye hole if you haven't already. All right, I got point on him, and he has not yet aggressed me. We'll see. Is he, He's flashy, though, right? He is flashy. He is flashy. All right, jump on contact, Mifrada. We are going to scatter in there, but it's just one target. <laughs> Watch that Lodgy, I think it's pretty powerful. Roger that. But he's not, the Lodgy's not flashy, is he? Zars Mad and Ashimu are both flashy. Excellent. Ashimu is now on grid as well. Excellent. Jump, jump, Mifrata. Jump, jump, Mifrata. Get tackle on anything flashy. I, I've got tackle on Lazar. Somebody get the Ash. Not sure they've aggressed, though. Yeah, make sure they are aggressed. I don't want you to die to gate guns. No, they're both flashy. All right, let's go for the uh, let's go for the uh, Ashimu first. And if it takes too long to kill him, then we'll go for the Lodgy. All right, so steel fifteen forty one in the Ashimu's primary. Use your prop mods to get there. Use your micro drives and. Afterburners to get on them. I think we'll have enough DPS to beat his rep, beat the reps. But the 
Not that the ashram is particularly a threat to us. It is more of a threat to us than the Zermats. We still have tackle on Stu, correct? Yes. All right, guys, go ahead and overheat a little bit on the Ashamu. He's going down pretty quick. Oh, he's dead. All right, everyone, primary is now Stu Pidasu in the Zarmads. Oh, wow, talk about pronunciation issues there. <laughs> nice bait job, guys. Beautiful. I that whale. <laughs> yeah, we'll still have to kill it. I think this is my first time actually killing a Trigravian ship. I don't even know what that is. Great way to start the room. Can we do the capsules also? I'm still of course. There. <laughs> yeah, you can kill the pods. I never order killing the pods usually, though, just because I know they're going to die faster than I could say to kill them. All right, good job. Excellent. Loot the racks. Recall drones if you got them. So, kind of standing orders after a fight. Especially when flying with me. Always recall your drones, like, immediately, because I am well known for warping off and leaving everybody's drones behind. I forget about drones all the time. Loot the wreck. Scoot the loot. Did we lose anybody? I don't see any pods. Excellent. I don't think so. Op success, guys. We're ISK positive. We can call it a night. Just kidding. All right. Align, align, Sandaya. Okay, so, uh, you know, I kind of forgot already what color that ship is. Whatever the color the ship is will tell you which... And I meant to talk to the Griffin pilots a little bit there. Uh, is what jam you should use. Look at the background color behind the ship. And would the match the background color to the color of the jam. Exactly. Now, knowing that we were going to kill them super fast, I wasn't too worried about jams. But in a fight on a gate, you will usually jam anything. Gallus is friendly disconnect. Yep. The beast is no. friendly disconnect. All right. There's a Plaxus on the fort at the out gate, but he's not making any move towards me. He's I'm at Fort Azar. Okay. Warping speed, Sandaya. More stupid guys, you know? <laughs> Warp and Fleet Zendaya. GG, we could talk about how to do a boosh as well. We have that in the fleet. And I always forget about booshes, so you have to remind <laughs> me about them. Okay, so, generally, with the Griffin pilots, generally, you will jam anything except the primary, because the primary is about to die, so the primary is not a threat. Um, there are some exceptions to that. This is just a general guideline. So you'll just kind of want to spread your jams on other things, um, especially things that in your judgment are a threat, uh, other E-War, other Logi, especially other Logi. And, of course, um, things like, uh, um, starts with a C, why can't I think of the name of it? Those uh, Tech 2 destroyers, man, especially because we're a Desi, you know, Frig fleet, they are really a threat to us. Uh, I can't think uh, of ship names today. Beacons, confessors, stuff like that. Yeah, confessors. Thank you. That was the word I was thinking of. And those T1 ca uh, cruisers that everybody loves to fly. The blue ones. Um. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember the ship names. Caracals. Caracals, thank you. Wow. Brain damage today. Yeah. You see a caracal on grid, just jam it. <laughs> Recon Sendai uh, Go ahead. There's a five in local gate is clear. Roger that. Let me just check chat real quick. Alright, did you get Vonky back in the fleet? Yes. Excellent. Alright, so we do have some armored rep drones, so that's good to know. Thank you, Scoot. <coughs> Everybody, jump, jump, Sendaya. And let's see how far behind. Uh, pasteurized, uh, pasteurized, how many jumps are you now? <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
Oh no! Oh! Pastor Ice got smart bombed on his way here. Everyone align align Doral? Well, I'll just keep moving the fleet then. Eventually you'll catch up with us. Probably about the time we're doing our first reship. So, 192,000. Did somebody loot those wrecks and pick up those juicy things and drop them off before you die? I'm dropping it off right now. And uh, did Link the Ashamu kill Neil? And I will explain how to avoid them also here in just a moment. I'm in Doral on the gate, there's a disruptor 109k off at the usual one, uh, there's a condor just jumped into you. Roger that. That Ashamu was 883 million, guys. In game. In game, so a little bit more. Uh, Z killed 987. So, we're already well over a billion Iskin kills, and we haven't even gotten to Nullsec. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, I, we, you, I can get the entire fleet whelped like four times and still be as positive today. <laughs> I just had a feeling today was going to be a good roam. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, could I have updated the recon in Doral? Because I either didn't hear it or missed it or forgot it. Uh, recon Doral is one in local um, Dresden Scanner. Thrasher's landing. Yep, yep. Everyone jump, jump. Once you're through the gate, scatter and try and catch those, try and tackle any of those Thrashers the moment they come through the gate. We will probably not be able to tackle them, but you can try. That's... We have a Dictor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's a regional gate. There is a medium warp disruptor on the gate, though. No, it's... it's not bothering us. Yeah, you can bubble up if you want, uh, Seven. I'll where, let where you use your you, judgment. Where did you see the Thrasher? They landed on the gate as we were, as we jumped through. They're gonna hold there for a while and hopefully... Oh, wait! Local just went up one. So I think one of them just came in. One jumped with us, for sure. So, just kind of set yourself up around the gate, 12 to 15 kilometers to 70 kilometers, and there they are, too far away. Oh, well. Try and catch them. Let's see if we can get tackle on any of them. They're going to warp off before we can tackle. I knew it would be almost impossible, but we could try. All right, get out of the bubbles. Now, easiest if you're in the bubble, easiest way to get out of the bubble is to kind of scroll in a little bit. Kind of find the edge of the bubble, find where you are, and find the closest edge of the bubble, and then just double click in that direction, and you will get out of the bubble. Use your prop mod. Yeah, I just got a target lock on one as they warped. Everybody get out of the bubble. Warping to a perch above the Sendai gate. Drive a perch is a saved location, a bookmark that I have previously saved that is on grid with the gate. Um, but uh, add warpable dif Jirun difference. Gate. Jirun gate is clear if you want me to go there. Alright, go ahead and uh, warp to Greygal. Yeah, we'll take Jirund. Warp to Greygal, those of you who just got out of the bubble. Nice job, Tessa, getting out of the bubble there. Go ahead and warp to Greygal. So, to warp to Greygal, you can warp to me by right-clicking me and warping to me on the watch list. Or, you see all those little purple, beautiful purple triangles in the middle of the screen? You could just right-click on any of them and then go warp to and you'll warp to where the bulk of the fleet is. If you are less than 150 kilometers away, of course, you cannot warp. So sometimes the faster thing to do instead of slow boating 120 kilometers like some of you are is to 
slow boat in the opposite direction until you are more than 150 kilometers and then initiate your warp. Uh, the Tron gate was clear, you said? Yeah, I am recon Gerund. There's a two in local grid and scanner clear. Cold warping Gerund gate. Hold on gate. So, yes, the bubble, If the way bubbles work is they will intercept your warp so long as you the bubble is in line with the direction of your warp. Yeah, mine too, Othello. Well, it's my first Trigavian kill. I'm still so thrilled about that. <laughs> I'm sure they were cursing up a storm. <laughs> All right, let me just make sure everybody is landed. I don't uh, there's a cloaked astro off the Hemming Gate, about 20k off the Hemming Gate, a cloaked astro. Roger that. Y'all can ignore that shuttle. We're not going to get tackle on it. Everybody go ahead and jump, jump, Gerund. You said he's uh, cloaked off the Hemming Gate? Yeah, Astro. He, cloaked, he didn't jump through, he cloaked through it. Oh. Yeah, I walked off, but oh, okay. that's just stupid. A line, a line, Hemming. All right, so say your warp, you know, you, you know or have reason to suspect there's going to be a smart bombing battleship on a gate. So this is for pasteurized in particular. One of the things you can do is if you have a, uh, you know, a bookmark above that gate, you know, off of that gate, just to warp to that gate and then, I mean, warp to that bookmark and then warp to the gate and you're not going to, odds are you're not going to get hit by the smart bomb and battleship because they have to be at least 2,500 kilometers, I believe, away, uh, 2,500 meters off the gate in order to activate their smart bombs. But, of course, odds are good you don't already have a bookmark on that gate. So, Open up your solar system map and take a look at the layout of the system. Warp to a planet and then, you know, that is at like a different angle than the gate you came in. Instead of warping from gate to gate, because the smart bombing battleship is going to be set up in line with the incoming gate more often than not. Look at the solar system layout. Warp to a planet that is not in line and then warp to the gate. More often than not, you're going to warp, you know, the best way to describe it is like behind the smart bombing battleship because you're coming in at a different angle or at least kind of like enough off of the bulk of that smart bombing battleship's damage that you're not going to take much damage. And then jump through the gate. And that's how to improve your odds of surviving smart bombing battleship camps. All right, Warping Fleet Hemin. Jump on contact Hemin. Uh, Ari, did we, did you fall behind? Uh, another thing, guys, everybody hold on gate, actually, if you've already jumped, that's fine. Coxon, I'll check YTA4. I think we lost one of our newer players. Uh, Ari, you're in Durant. Ari, I'd still show you in Durant. Armok, only one in system, nothing on Gritter D scanner or in the system. You must already be in heaven, okay. Darn uh, fleet composition doesn't update quick enough sometimes. Yeah, there you are. Okay. And there's my fleet. Everyone align, align, arm lock. Uh, repeat what you just said, Coaxter. Uh, since we own Hemin Othello, no. White case clear, there's nothing on it. That's that, align, align, arm lock. Alright, Coaxter setting k you. Warping Fleet Armok. Yeah, I just had some serious net lag there. GG, we can't hear you anymore. Hang on.
Take it, Gen Z. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I just like everything just like went into slow mo, freeze, slow mo, move, laggy. Like I said, the kind of working on the uh, uh, the fiber line out here. I'm checking EEM. Jump, jump, arm mock. Yeah, we got fiber out here. I've got fiber to the router. It's awesome. Uh, except right now they have like just patched in like a temporary line while they're repairing damage from a rock slide. A line, a line, KTQ. Yeah, I haven't. I need to eat more oatmeal because oatmeal is wonderful. Warping Fleet, KTQ. We've got one in I Hall and one in Berta. So. Uh, really important, especially for you less experienced pilots, if you fall behind, especially if you fall behind more than one system, say so, either in voice comms or in fleet chat. If I know that you've fallen behind, I can either, you know, send somebody to scout you back, or we can, I can move a little slower so you can catch up, or we can, you know, let you be bait for us to kill something. Uh, uh, recon, just two in KTAC-Q, nothing on Gritter D-Scan. Thank you. Mr. Nice, you're going to join us? All right, everybody's... I take it back, a prospect just appeared. Everybody, jump, jump, k -Tech Q. Did you just see that prospect, Jeff? Oh, I'm, I'm going to the other gate. I'll see if I can pick him up from there. There's a small bubble off, off the other gate. Off, and get into CL tag, there's a bubble. 30k off it, right? <laughs> It's a small bubble. You can kill it quickly, and we can get a kill now. A line, a line, CL. Okay, so is the prospect in the bubble, and the bubble is off there, of the CL gate? Somewhere in the system. I just can't find where it is. Somewhere near the sun, but I'm looking. Oh, my goodness. Sebastian. Hello. Hello. Everybody, line, a line, CL. We're uh, doing our usual route. We're just in KTAC-Q right now. I have zero doubt you can catch up. Alrighty. We've already had over a billion in kills, and that was in, yeah, that was in, what was it, Mifrata? <laughs> Before we even got to Nullsec. It was brilliant. <sighs> okay, now you said there was a bubble off the CL gate? Yeah, I just walked to Jeff and you'll get on to it. <sighs> Alright, the prospect has run and hid somewhere. Warp and fleet to a perch above the CL gate. Warp drive active. Kill the bubble, kill it. How do you kill a bubble? Lock and fire. The malediction came in, but he walked off. The bubble is pointed. Yeah, I guess I could have warped us to the bubble so you could kill it, but... Alright, alright. You kill male whores. Warping fleet to all of you killing the bubble so everybody else can get on the kill mail. Just to be sure, I webbed it too. I want to stop today. <laughs> it's dead. It died just as I target locked it. Alright, everyone get down onto the CL gate. Super fast. Use your prop mods. Ah, uh, those are those trashers that avoided us earlier, I bet, Seven. Yeah, it looks like they're kind of trailing behind us, not too far. We have a bubbler. We can catch them on a gate. Uh, Scarlet, you are in a comet, so... Um, yep. It's... Your drones. Somebody left the drone out. Yep, recall your drones. Uh, so it's up to the scouts. I'm sure they'll welcome you, take you under their wing, but it's up to them.
I kind of stay out of telling my scouts what to do. <laughs> they know their job better than me. <laughs> uh, GG. Um, there's only one in local in CL Tech. Nothing on Greater. Jump, jump. They really are. Well, it's the mark of a good FC, in my opinion, that you trust your fleet to know what to do, to know their jobs. You trust people to know how to fly their own ships, and you just get out of their way and let them do it, and they kind of, like, blow Ooh, you away. Oh, there's an Atron. A line, a line, 8G, tech, 8G. Atron is what's in system. Fasterized, how far behind are you now? Atron's on the OK at uh, zero. He jumped. Atron jumped into 8G. I'll try to catch him on the other side. Yep, warping fleet. You'll probably kill him before we land. Oh, nice job catching up, Pasteurized. I guess I should have looked in local. Atron's gone. All right, Pasteur, Atron already gone. Mr. Going Nicer, Nighthawk. Only two in HG, by the way. Well, perfect timing there, Pasteurized. Sorry you missed out on the kills. We'll have to just get some more so you can get on them. Atron's on scan. Just got a plus one, Cokes. So we did. Jump, jump, HG. Jump, buddy, jump, jump. It's a thrasher. It is a thrasher. You might be heading to you at your out gate. You might want to bubble up before it does. Okay, bubble up. He warped, he warped to planet five. Go behind him. Uh, belay the bubble. Align, align, follow me. Follow me has. Tw 11 in local. Hold on. So the Thrasher is... You can kill the rats if, unless they're the dangerous type of ones. Alright, do you have tackle on him? Is he at zero at the planet? He just warped, he just warped back to you, I believe. He went to planet three. Going behind him. Planet three? Warp and fleet, plan to three. Warp drive active. Yeah, is that the Poco? Well, hopefully the Poco's at the planet because I warped point right to the planet. Point Thrasher, point Thrasher. Alright, kill the Thrasher, guys. Nice little chase there, guys. Kill the pod, loot the wreck, recall drones, align, follow me. Fast rise, did you get on that kill meal? Success. Warping fleet, fall me. If you get caught up on the um, on the Poco, just hit Control Space to stop your ship, move away from it, and then warp yourself to the Valmi gate. Well, me had about a dozen people in local when I was jumping back in. Nothing on grid or D scan, checking the rest of the system. Yep, I'm just waiting for everybody to land. Still got a few people in warp. Yeah, I was stuck on that local. Yep. Happens every time. Ooh, there's a Cerberus on D scan. Alright, looks like everybody has landed. Hold on, gate. Uh, Cerberus on D scan and Valmi, is that correct? That is correct. Can't find it yet. He Do we have a prober, by the way? We'll hold here just in case you don't want to spook him. Ah, he's already been spooked. He's off D scan now. 
Well, there's no station there, but there's probably a citadel. Oh, there's lots. Yeah. Do you see him, Jeff? No, I'm at the KTAC B gate. There's nothing on scan. I'm going to go through random belts, see if I can find any. We'll hold here and let him think that only a handful are chasing him. So if something's like a hundred kilometers away, we can jump the fleet. What you would do is you would on your watch list you would right click on Gen Z Armanda and collect keep at range five hundred. At 500 meters, and then I, I would click uh, jump field generator to jump the whole fleet of 100 kilometers. Do we have probes in fleet? I don't think so. Um, I don't think we have any probes. Okay, so yeah, that was an agony thing to always orbit the gate at 500. Me, I actually don't care. I'd rather y'all decide for yourself if you want to orbit or sit still. There's good arguments for both sitting still and orbiting um it to me it just doesn't matter what matters to me is that you remain within jump range within 2500 kilometers of the gate don't scan, don't scan from planet 10. yeah some fcs want you to orbit some want you to sit still and you know it, it there's good reasons for both but me all that matters to me is that you stay within gate activation range. Yep. Uh, if I remember right, you came on one of my Agony uh, classes when I was still leading Agony Unleashed as PvP. I see a control tower, but uh, now the Cerberus is moved. I know, I know. No I do the game, he's too fly. Okay. Well, we'll stop chasing then. Jump, jump, fall me. New Desto. Oh. Isengard, of course. But we'll take a brief... Why do I ask? Yeah, well, it's showing activity on the map, so I know there's targets there. But we'll take a brief bio in um, probably D87 or 5E. So, everyone, align, align, KTAC B. And I will set your desktop in a moment. Okay, it's clear. That's KB. K-B has one new, nothing on scan. Broadcasting, new Desta. Or LinkedIn fleet. And warp and fleet, K-Tech B. Warp drive active. Too late, Vindual. You are a hobbit because you're in our fleet with us and we're going to Isengard. We're taking the hobbits uh, to Isengard. KTAC-B has only one in local, nothing on good or D-scan. D-87's got 10 newts. Game gate's clear. D-scan's clear. Roger that. Uh, can you check 5 e Tac? Yeah, you bet. See you, Malcon. Thank you for joining us. Seven, I assume that's your. S oh, that isn't your saber. Uh, Five E is clear, empty. That saber's at attack. Not one of my attacks. Yeah, not one of mine either. It's almost in line with Valmito. Uh, with a citadel. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, but it's 375. Well, if we had four people warp to that, then warp back one at a time, 100 each, we'd land on him. By then he would have warped off. Go ahead and jump, jump. Hey, you know, it's a good thought, but... <laughs>
What are the odds he falls this fast? Probably not. Okay, reapproach. Yep, reapproach the gate, guys. Say again in D87. D87. Right now, there's 12 newts. I just got a saber on D scan. Watch that. All right, guys, kind of re. Land. Oh shit. Oh, he's going the other direction. Loki here as well. Damn it! I kind of wanted to take a break. Well, we can take a break. No shit. Uh, align D87. Wonder how patient that uh, saber behind us will be. Local hasn't changed. So, what's that Loki doing? They jumped into oh shit. Saber and Loki. Yeah, they're probably moving too fast for us. Uh, Saber, uh, he reapproached the D87 gate. He's holding. Roger that. Warping Fleet, D87. How many in local in D87, anybody? A dozen. So, unchanged? Yeah. Loki on D and still. Zero on the zero SH. I love how you always say zero SH. Loki is at zero on the O oh shit gate in D87. Roger that. Jump, jump, D87. He is lockable, but he's at zero. I think he just jumped. He did jumped into O oh shit. Saber just warped to U dash Q gate. Try to get to Loki on the other side if you can. Be cloaked immediately. Warping fleet, oh shit. Probably gonna be too late to That's catch right. the saber. If you miss warp, warp yourself. Loki's he probably went to UQ with the saber, I'm going behind him. Yep, keep eyes on him. Thought you said the saber came back into oh shit. Uh it changed its mind and went back. Gotcha. There is a bomber in a system in D87. Go Loki ahead. is jump, on jump. the UCAC gate and has jumped in the UTAC queue. It's Cloaky, probably can't catch it. Sign of the saber, though. Yeah, odds are better. Cold warping, UTAC queue. If you miss the warp, warp yourself. Both the okay. saber and Loki okay. pilots are in U Q. So, warp yourselves, UTAC queue. You cat two you tech you has about nine in local. Did they Nothing leave on grid. For us to jump? Have they left the uh oh shit gate? Yeah. Yeah, they've already gotten out. The saber's already gone. Yeah. Okay, okay, I've lost you guys. I don't know where you are. Okay. Right now we are in oh shit, which is zero S H T. Hold on gate guys. We're going to actually take a, a break here because I believe we can... Let me see if we can... Uh, no, we don't have docking access and... Oh, shit. At the Citadel here. Actually, I think there might be a Raytaro in UTEC-Q you can dock at. Double check on that. Otherwise, we will go into uh, VTEC-I, which does have a station. Or I can dock at it, which usually means anybody can because <laughs> you know me. Uh, VTAC, I had about eight in local. They were on the site, but they ran as soon as I appeared to the system. We Don't. lost a straggler. Yep, we are in O O shit. Yeah, I'm in KB203 right now. I have to come back through uh, DB70. There's a guy in local going, help, I'm tackled, guys, help. <laughs> oh, jump, jump, everybody jump, jump. There's a bomb on grid, jump, jump. Reason number two why I always want you within gate activation range. 
took out the bomb with the defender missile, but now I gotta wait for my timer. All right, keep yourself safe. Did our uh, I I don't remember who got uh, who fell behind. Did you get caught up? No, I'm a D8. Okay, we are now in UTEC Q. You should be okay to just come straight in. Uh, I don't see anything that we can dock at in UTEC Q. Everybody, go ahead and reapproach the O shit gate. So I'm jumping OSHIT and then through to DHQ or whatever? Uh, to UTAC Q, it's linked in Fleet Chat. Okay, good, thanks. Although I might bring us back into OSHIT. Actually, I am. So if you're in OSHIT, just go ahead and warp to the gate. Uh, to the UTAC Q gate, but don't jump. All right, just hold on the gate. Will do. Everybody get within range of the U. Oh shit, gate. We're going to jump back in there, then go to VTech I and take a little break. Alright, looks like everybody's in range. Go ahead and jump, jump. Oh shit. Hold cloak, hold cloak. Good to know, Ari. Hold cloak, because we know there's a bomber in system. And who was it that fell behind? It's me. Ah, there I'm we are. In, I'm in oh shit. Right. All right, are you in warp to the UTAC Q gate? Uh, do you want me to jump? No, do not jump. We're holding cloaked on the gate. We're going to actually, I just wanted to make sure you were with fleet before I moved us. Well, which gate? You, I, I see a UQVW. Yep. Just, okay. Run. We're on the UTAC Q gate. You know shit. Uh, TAC means dash. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. So go ahead and warp to the UTAC Q gate. Everybody hold cloak. Keep holding cloak. Just gonna wait for Chip to catch to get with us. Go ahead, everyone. Reapproach the UTAC Q gate. gate is clear. VTAC I gate is clear. Thank you, everyone. Go ahead and reapproach the UTAC Q gate and just hold at in, in activation range in case the bomber comes back while we wait on chip. I'm here. Uh, we had a friendly disconnect. Rat Griffin is friendly. Rad Sir and the Griffin is friendly. Alright, send him a re-invite. But just hold on the gate at zero in case that bomber comes back. Uh, Chip, looks like you're on grid with us. Everyone align, align, V, tac I. Align, align, V, tac I. V, dash, I. Thank you, Coaxer. Okay, warping fleet, V, tac I. Jump on contact. Okay. This is not a yellow gate. Not a yellow gate. We're going to take a little bio break. The cryo is here! What the heck? Uh, what? Cryos. A very pricey... Oh, it's gone. Uh, very pricey um, transport ships. Where'd it go? Yeah, it's just a T1 mineral. Nice job yeah, catching up, guys. That's going to be valuable. Yep, jump, jump. Nice job catching back up there, Chip. Thank you. The blood station in VI, VTACI, Salvation Arm, um, Angel 7, should get in. I nearly said Salvation Arm, my God. <laughs> Salvation okay. Angels. Cold Warping Fleet to the station. Cryo is sitting the bust of the Rofa like Taru. We'll fight the warp to station, you may just catch him. I've docked. Ah, damn it. I had docking too when I saw them coming. Alright, go ahead and dock, dock. 
Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Six minute bio? Yeah. So, six minute bio break. That's till 21.30. Hit your little boys and girls room. Sit the kitchen. Smoke a cigarette. Unless you're chain smoking at the desk like I am today for some reason. I thought you quit smoking. I did, and then I started again, then I stopped again, then I started again, then I started... Uh, yeah. What did you do that for? Every time I go to an Eve meet, I end up smoking, starting smoking again. So, like, I started smoking again on the cruise, then I stopped. Then I went to Colorado and started again, then I stopped again, then... Berlin and started again, and then actually stopped for a whole week. Went to Vegas, started again, and been smoking since Vegas. Well, well, actually, I've had like two two weeks there between Vegas and now where I didn't smoke. Anyway, bio break until twenty one thirty. And yes, the nag is still on the station. While you're in the NPC station, repair any damage to your ship.
I'll only be half surprised if Gigi doesn't have us try to kill the Nagelfar. <laughs> Why wouldn't I try? Exactly my point. <laughs> we actually have enough enough DPS to kill a Nag. We might not have enough ammo to kill it. <laughs> Fair enough. There I is a same corp Balgorn also on grid. It's uh, tethered at the right target. I'm thinking of that uh, dread that we tackled in Pravi that one time that took us like 17 minutes to kill <laughs> a few months back. <coughs> he ran out of cap boosters. And apparently he was yelling and, uh, you know, Providence uh, intel for help. Nobody came to help him. I was like posting in all the public channels. If you're anywhere near Providence, we've got the snag. Come help us kill it. And nobody came, and we just kept shooting it. And people were running out of ammo and looting racks because he did kill some of us. And so they were looting racks for ammo. That's a good trick to remember. Good thing to to know. If you're on grid in a big fight and you run out of ammo, loot racks till you find some ammo. And uh, then we killed, and we actually killed him. It was it was really good. The uh, Nag and Bulgorn are both at the Retari now. See, now the Bog we can kill, definitely. I mean, just in Destroyers, we've got... How, how are two of our people in pods back in Berta? How'd we lose two people? We lost a straggler. Oh, I didn't realize that we had a straggler. And it looks like the nag caught somebody on the end dot. Must have gone AFK while forgot to dock. Well, we shall try and avenge you guys. But yeah, we got about AP. 8, 8k DPS just in Catalyst, I would say. Just in Destroyers. So, those of you who are in Berta, I'm sorry you died. Uh, didn't realize one of you straggled and the other guy caught on the station. Uh, you can grab a frigate and try and catch up with us, but honestly, we're probably going to end up dying in a big fire here shortly <laughs> and back in Berta to reship anyway. So if you just want to hang there for 20 or so minutes. So I hear tell there's a big fight in uh, Isengard. We call Isengard. We call Brave Home System Isengard because we know it's our Isengard. We know we can always get a fight there. If not with Brave, with somebody. Yeah, it's not a Rome if we don't get a good fight. Although, G's looking quieter than it looked a half an hour ago. Dotland's only showing 89 kills in the last hour, whereas the last time I looked, it was showing like almost 200. VTAC 3, on the other hand, shows 159 kills in the last hour. Well, that's why we undock. We, we want the thrill of the fight. If we get a fight, and as long as we kill one, we've won. We, we, we achieved our goal, which is the fight, because the only way to learn to fight is to actually fight. The only way to learn to fly in Eve as well to die. <laughs> you learn so much more dying than you ever do winning, you know. You know, killing, but always other kill. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean if I can't kill one, I'm not gonna take the fight most of the time. Sometimes I'll take a fight knowing that we're not even gonna kill one just because, well, I'm bored and want the fight and wanna head home and it's quicker. <laughs> Nagelfar is back at the station. We got one minute left on Baya. 
Uh, we also have two stationary frigates in that vicinity. People who didn't dock. Guys, if you are outside of the station, dock up. Uh, are they ours, I should say? Yes, two of ours. The Balgorn is there now, too. Uh, we're about to lose two people or AFK. Who are they? Uh, they both just disappeared. I guess they docked. Good, good. I don't see any new wrecks, so... Check and fleet comp. Algarn has left, just a Nagel far left. I don't see any new... I don't see any new capsules in fleet comp. Just Sebastian just and me out here. I was here. taking a look. I docked again. Okay. There was a split out there. Uh, uh Vinduil Hagenin died. Yeah, he's... Yeah, that's, that was a while ago. Yeah, he's in a he's in Berta now. As is Mr. Nice, which is a shame. Mr. Nice, I like Mr. Nice. He's nice. Uh, you weren't docked up, Finduel. You went AFK outside the station. We didn't realize it until after. What, Jeff Jeff died? Oh, I'm in the station. <laughs> I was going to say. I just remarked I've been killed by some very nice guys and gals that I became friends with. Oh, okay, because I was like going, why did somebody say you died? I didn't hear you died, and it's been an hour and a half, so you're already exceeding your average lifetime. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I don't use a lever as long as this. Okay, if you're not back from break, please X up. Oh, we lost one of our Griffin pilots. <laughs> okay, they still sitting on the undock? Nag is, yes. Alright. Everybody undock, undock. I'm going to ignore the nag. I know, I know. It's hard to believe. Yeah, don't play station games. And, what do you know, I have an undock bookmark here. Warp and fleet to an undock bookmark. Warp drive active. Which gives me an opportunity to explain what that is. An undock bookmark is a bookmark that is in direct alignment from the station. So you can basically undock and then almost insta-warp off the dock. So they can't tackle you, they can't take pot shots at you, and then you can, everyone align a line, oh shit. And then you can warp off from there. Really handy to make one of those in Jita. But if you make one in Jita, make it at like, you know, 6,000 or something. Just, you know, kilometers. Make it really far from the undock because the people who camp in Jita, they've got all undocks like every 100 kilometers. Did you, in did, did you intend for us to... Ari warped us? Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be going back to oh shit. Okay, it's clear. Alright, warping fleet, oh shit. Warp drive active. Thanks for flying with us, Mr. Nice. Thanks for flying with us, Vindwell. Okay, hold on the OSHA gate while I just double check and make sure nobody's left behind docked. Good. Uh, wait, wait. Seven, I show you still docked. Are you s with us or are you docked still? Obviously, you are not docked because you're reporting the nag. Jump, jump, oh shit. Reapproach the gate. Because if he jumps into oh shit with us, then it might play with him. Alright. Oops. Everybody go ahead and reapproach the VTEC I gate. Just reapproach it. Do not jump. Do not jump. We'll give it a minute and see if that nag follows us.
No bubble, no bubble. So, we have a local op, Eat My Jorts. What was the uh, NAG pilot's name? Roger Young. Okay. Alright, so here's a trick, by the way, that's really handy with local. If you click on any name in local chat, then go control A. Okay, then go control A to select everybody's name. Everybody will be highlighted. Any new local, anybody who comes in from at the time you select all, um, will not be highlighted. So that way you can always tell who the new local is. All right, let's go ahead and start aligning to UTAC Q. Where's that saber at, you said? He warped the 87. What are the chances we'll catch him? Uh, mm, line D8. Pretty sure he left local already. Uh, was, yeah, probably. Because somebody has definitely left local. Okay, warp and fleet, UTAC Q, hold on gate. UTAC okay. Q, 6 local, grid scan clear. Jump on contact, UTAC Q. So here's another thing, when you're in warp, you can actually click the jump button and then you will automatically jump through the gate. If by chance you actually already hit the jump, you know, warp and jump button and you're supposed to hold on gate and you don't want to automatically jump through the gate, just hit control space while you are in warp and that will stop you from automatically jumping through a gate. Scarlet, you got a kill? <laughs> I saw that Sino go up and I'm like, eh. Jump, jump. Yep, I see an Astero. He's landing on the gate, hopefully. Nope, he cloaked up or something. Out gate is clear. Roger Bravo that. dash three, three in local. Good. A line, a line. Try and grab that Astero, guys. He's going to get off before we get him tackled or cloaked. Yep, he's gone. A line, a line. A line, a line. B tack three. That's Bravo tack three. Okay, thank you, Seven. Uh, realign, get back on the BTAC, uh, <laughs> get back on the oh shit gate, get back on the oh shit gate. <coughs> of course he wants to play. Maybe half it. Yeah. It'll be very tricky for us. Yeah, and he wants it too much. Alright, I must resist the temptation. Y'all know me too well. Align, align, B, tack 3. That's Bravo, tack 3. Now, this system and the next system, we actually call Bravo, tack 3 and Victor, tack 3 because B, tack 3 and V, tack 3 are really s easy to confuse which one is which because they sound so much alike. Sebastian, we might have a saber coming. Warping fleet. Okay. Warping fleet. Bravo tag three. Warp drive active. Yep, yep, when I fell. jumped it. When I jumped into Bravo three, I just saw a saber on D scan in UQ. He might be landing. After that. Yeah, Coke sort of saw him when he jumped. And the map is showing recent activity. Recent kills in Victor Tac 3. Hold on, Gabe. And I definitely need to remember to explain that Tac means Dash and Eve. Uh, you know, when, we're, when I'm doing my usual new bro spiel. In Beta Tac 3 on the U Tac U gate, there is nothing on grid or D scan, so hold on. There are four in local. Victor three gates clear as well. After that, everyone jump, jump. We're gonna get a fight. A line, a line. V tech three. A line, a line. Victor tech three. Victor three has six newts. Nothing on D scanning gates. Clear. 
Only six in VTech 3. I'm gonna use a ping off the GE gate in case I have a bubble camp set up. Yeah, they don't usually, but good idea. Warping Fleet, VTAC 3. Victor TAC 3. If you miss the warp, warp yourself to Victor TAC 3. Hold on gate, hold on gate. As we're going into areas that we know that tend to have a lot of activity, definitely try and stay with the fleet. Try not to fall behind. And if you do, say so. Hold on gate, wait for everybody to land. Uh, Saber named zero, zero Tech O, oh, that's not U7, correct? Yeah, you're, you're the one with the Japanese characters, or Korean characters, if I remember right. Nothing is on the GE check. Tech gate. Check. Check. Go ahead. Victor 3 gate and GE, a harpy fleet is landing. Numbers? Brave Harpy Fleet looks about 20. I'll get a decent. They're, they're jumping into Victor 3. Confirm. They're jumping into Victor 3 right now. Alright, guys. Set up around the gate. Let's go ahead and get a bubble up and hope that they come our way. We'll wait here for them. See if they're coming this way. Let's go ahead and get a bubble up. Rough D scan in fleet. Griffins get at range. I, I can't open up my browser while I have Eve open. It causes my system. Harpies, seven destroyers, like. Oh, this will be fun. Please come our way. Please come our way. Yeah, it looks like they're warping toward you. Yep, have them on scan from the gate. It might go HY, we'll see. Oh, they are landing on the Bravo 3. All right, guys, as soon as you see people decloaking, just start tackling them and start killing them. We're going to do a free fire unless I call targets. Free fire means you just keep locking up things. Anything you see with damage, you start shooting. If not they are on the Bravo Attack 3 gate. If nothing has damage, just start shooting anything. They just killed one. They've got aggro over here. Roger that. But we will free fire. I will probably start calling targets at one point, but in for the initial opening salvo of the uh, engagement, we will free fire. Uh, Griffins, you'll want to focus on um, jamming out the destroyers. Just kind of like put Who one. Are you attack in space. Yeah, just there we go. Kill that harpy, guys. He's the first, first to arrive, first to die. <laughs> he might crash, crash the gate. Yep, he crashed the gate. Was Otto Dietrich in our fleet? Yes, he is. Oh! Otto, you died. died! on the other side. I didn't know you were on the other side. I'm sorry. Did you lemming? Ouch. We will avenge you. Yeah, go ahead and keep rolling those bubbles as long as you can. Seven, I'm sure you're still in reload. Oh, alright. No, you're not. Uh, two of them will come in. Three. Alright, local is... Here they come. Here they Here are. They are. Tackle and kill as they, uh, as soon as you see them on the overview, start killing them. Seven, try not to die. It'd be nice for me not to actually get my bubbler killed in the first 30 seconds for once. That's so rare for me. They are holding cloak. Alright, start killing them. Just tackle and kill. Tackle and kill. All right, let's go for Jensen Avio. I'm going to start calling targets, but he's got the most damage, so J Jensen Avio is primary. Jensen Avio is primary. Tall War Vito Versailles is secondary. Broadcasted both. If they're not in range for you, that's okay. 
you just keep shooting something. Vito for Salus is primary. Vito for Salus is primary in the Talwar. Try not to. They're dragging. Oh, look at them. <laughs> look at them chasing out. We're going to focus on the ones that are in our range. Secondary is going to be Stokesol. Stokesol, Luna in the Tall War is now primary. He should be close enough. Stolwar Luna is primary. If he's not in range, kill the uh, little ones, you know, the Atron and the Condor. All right, let's go for Atron. Just kill the Atron real quick. Harpy, Texmo, Texmas will be the next primary. But kill the Atron and the Condor real quick if they're in your range. If they're not, DPS on Texma, Texamasas. This is a little bit different in that I am letting you all split DPS, but that's because I want to maximize the number of kills. And they're, I mean, look at them pulling range. That's so weird. Let's go for Red Argyle, Red Gargle and the Harpy. He might be out of range for people if uh, somebody else is in your range. Got point on Red Argo, Red Argo is now the primary. Looks like they're starting to move back in. Red Argo and the Harpy. Jensen, Avia will be secondary. Red is primary. R E D is primary. Jensen, J E N is secondary. Jensen is now primary. Jensen is now primary. Burn Archuin and the Harpy will be secondary. Jensen Avio, I am broadcasting, is primary. Burn Atrium is secondary. If the primary isn't in your range, you can go for the secondary. We still have enough DPS. Let's go ahead and get Jensen Avio and the Harpy. Jensen Avio and the Harpy. There we go. Now he's going down. Burn Atrium is now primary. Burn Atrium is now primary. Pixie Hita will be secondary. Burn Atrium and the Harpy is primary. Pixie Hita is secondary. This is a good fight. Pixie is now primary. Pixie is primary. Baranor is secondary. All DPS on Pixie. Now when I'm calling two like this, if, because we still have plenty of DPS, if one is closer to you than the other, it's okay to split your DPS in this case. In other words, it's okay to shoot the one that's closer to you. Gen Z's an attack. If a whole bunch of them are boxing you, jump to Gen Z and then jump back in. Uh, Lomolith. <laughs> a jackdaw. Well, looks like most of us are closest to Daredevil. Blavish. Nope, he's too far away. Okay, I show Asty is closest right now. Just keep shooting whatever's close to you. Asty is primary, but keep shooting whatever's closest to you if Asty is not. Do not chase after them. We want to stay as close together as possible. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. We don't want to chase after them. Let's see. Philippe. Yeah, there's very few of them left. Let's go for it. All right. Uh, do I have a wreck I can bounce off of? Nope. Just let's just start powering out towards them. Aslan and there's a Garmer there. Aslan. Let's try and get that Garmer. He's gonna. Oh, I destruct my pod. Chip. Web on, the, web on the Garmer. Excellent. Garmer is primary. Aslan Drax and the Garmer is primary. I'm still too far away from him. Can be full range. Let's try to get him. Yep. Get webs on the Garmer. Webs on the Garmer. Give him, a, give him love yeah, and local. On, let's get him. I am all over the place. But, yep. Um, hmm. I need to bounce us. 
Next, GG. Just keep shooting, whatever you're in range. I'm so far away from everything. Uh, any of the harpies, I would go for Baranor. I'm going to try and regroup us a little bit here. Uh, One's so headed toward my attack. I'm going to move to a mids. Roger that, and... Nope, that one's too far away. I'm trying to find something on grid. Act on trying to get to our attack. So if you're at that attack, move off to somewhere else. All right, I'm going to be warping fleet. If you are close to a target, cancel your warp by hitting control space. Okay. Meanwhile, everyone else, I'm going to warp us up there and then down. Let's see how close we are to that jackdaw. At Malibu, about 50. Maybe? Blap that malediction real quick. Oh, no, he warped. All right, now warping us back Attack's closer. Attack's about 50 from the jackdaw. Okay, I'm warping us to a wreck. Come on, let me warp to it. There we go. Warping fleet to a wreck that is reasonably close to those targets. And they're warping off. Gen Z's at a mid safe. You can bounce to Gen Z and back. All right, get out of the bubble that would have just pulled some of you in. Give him a good fight in local. Give him love in local, little heart. To make a heart, it's Alt 3, Alt 3 on your keyboard. Warp and sleep back up to that tack. I should have warped us at range to try and get that jackdaw. I kind of forgot to warp us at range. Should I say All right. Uh, just try and kill that jackdaw, guys. Nope, he's warping off. Gen Z, you at the mid? Yes. Warping fleet to Gen Z. If you miss warp, warp to Gen Z. That was a really, really, really good fight. I'm in a pod. Should I self-destruct? Not yet. No. I shall explain why once we get to the mid-safe. Again, I don't know where you want me to, to warp to. Okay, warp to Gen Z. Warp to Grey Gal. So, you see my name and fleet are on your watch list. Just right-click, select fleet. So, right-click, select fleet, and then warp to member. That was awesome! What a great fight. So they made one mistake. They made one really big mistake. Just one? Well, one critical mistake. I mean, it's lots of little mistakes can cost you a fight. But in this case, they, they kept pulling away from us. But some of them stayed. Some of them were like in the bubble while others, and this is why I don't anchor, were anchored on the FC and were all pulling away. So they dragged a huge percentage, like 70% of their DPS, away from us. So we were able to kill those that weren't anchored, weren't, you know, trying to pull out to range, because that's what the FC obviously was doing. He obviously had people war um, anchored on him, and he was dragging them all away to get at their optimal range, because they're harpies. They can hit us at like 60, 80, something like that. I don't remember. Um... But that actually took a significant amount of the DPS away from the active fight. And so we proceeded to pick them off and we were able to call targets nice and slow and kill them nice and fast and then chase after a few. And then we started getting spread out. Um, yeah, we probably could, could have gotten a couple more kills there, but awesome. Oh, now that we're at the safe spot because of probes, do not ever sit still at a safe spot. So just kind of randomly double click in space and scatter, guys. Go ahead and scatter. Turn your prop mod on just for one or two cycles. Pods, just you don't have a prop mod, so just scatter a little bit. The reason we scatter at a safe spot is because if somebody does probe us out, they'll only be able they're only going to probe out one person, obviously. But when they warp to wherever they locked on with those probes, the person will no longer be there because they're moving. Outgate to Berta is clear. Good to know. 
Uh, no, we didn't. I don't usually go into the rolling safes because we don't really ever use them, honestly. Um, just haven't had need for them in so long. Man, I haven't even thought about rolling safes in ages. Okay. Whew. My heart rate's coming back down. We're going to set Testo to Berta. Pods, you can stay with us. And I shall explain why in a moment. Broadcasting. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. feel free to... I would probably put some reps on Penny, because I'm showing Penny with quite a bit of armor damage. Quite a few of you with hull damage. <laughs> By the way, they are still on the VTAC 3 gate. Alright, I'm just taking a look at how much DPS I have actually left. Alright, I got a lot of pods, but that's okay. I got six destroyers. About uh, ten frigates. All my scepter pilots and my saber pilot are still alive. Lost the command, Desi. Mm. There's only five of them left on the gate. Okay. So, align, align, yeah. VTEC 3. Uh, the Jackdaw, I think, is at a wreck. Oh. Uh, the Raitaro is not showing as accessible for me, Seven. But we're not far from, from Curse, so we'll just wrap up in Curse and get the uh, people in pods into new brush. Do you want to try there. to get the looters who are going on here? Well, I usually let them get the loot. Because <laughs> it's brave, you know. Oh. Alright, Othello, stay in, the, stay in the pod. Stay with us. Don't, don't, don't go off anywhere. Alright. We'll get so the reason I let you want your pods to stay with us is because when we spike local, we spike local much larger. We look like a much larger fleet than we really are, and people don't realize that we're three quarters pods. Okay, and we have broken up so many gate camps over the years. Oh, local is climbing big time by spiking local with a bunch of pods. I assume they all just came in through VTAC three. They have not dig up. There they are. Yes, they did. Okay. Let me know the moment they warp off the of VTAC 3. Watch D There's about 20 of them now. Yeah. Please watch D scan for probes, for combat probes. Everyone else, keep aligning to Victor Tech 3. Keep aligning to Victor Tech 3. Oh, they're pretty rich. Brave. But. They're warping up gate. They're warping up gate. Okay, warping fleet. Victor Tac 3, jump on contact. It'll be a blind Looks jump. Looks like they were warping back to you, Tac you. Roger that. If you miss warp, warp yourself. Victor Tac 3, jump on contact. Oh, good. We did kill that Garmer. I completely forgot. That was a good fight. 132 million Garmer. Nice kill. Jump, jump. The Noctis. Can't I kill the Noctis, please? I don't want us getting a weapons timer for a minute. We're just going to go ahead and jump, 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 jump. They got too many in local by the time we kill that uh, Noctis and expire our, our weapons timers. They'll be on us and killing us. So everyone jump, 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 jump. We're going to be cold warping and making best speed for about three systems. Oh, shoot! I went the wrong direction. Um, darn it. Go HY. We'll be okay. Yep, warping fleet HY. I forgot to set my own Desto to Berta. That's alright. Jump on contact, HY, jump, jump, blind jump. Blind jump means we don't have recon. If you miss the warp, just warp yourself, jump. We'll make, just follow the yellow brick road, making best speed for a few jumps. I <coughs> one in local. <coughs> Thank you. Cold warping fleet, 6X7. And why is 6 afraid of 7? Exactly, because 789. Another one that never gets old. 
At least not for me. Oh my god, Cokester, you need reps. <laughs> yes, but why did 789? I don't know. I guess he was hungry. Because he heard it was a good idea to eat three square a day. How come I have uh, never heard that one before? Love it. Jump, 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 jump. That's a new one. <laughs> I can't believe I never heard that one before. Buckles friendly. Cold warping, attack eight. Warp drive active. If you miss warp, warp yourself, attack eight, jump on contact. Attack just one on low, cool, these go clear. Thank you. Oh, we get to go right after that into another one of my favorite system names. Maybe I did hear it before, I just forgot it, but I really like that. Because it hurt, it was good to eat three square a day. Jump jump, eight tack eight. Alpha tack eight. And it's friendly. And yes, Sorry, I, I tack Sorry, eight. I'm in VYG7, I don't know. Alright, just, yeah, you're in three tack, you're in V tack three, just... Jump to H Y. Set your destination to Berta, and you should. But you want to go into H Y first. We'll be holding up in the. We'll be holding up in the next system. Warping fleet. I eight dog. Warp drive active. Uh, are there any uh, open citadels in I eight dog? Negative. After that, I think I got a. Sounds safe. like a Korean dish. I think I got a safe spot in I eight dog anyway. <laughs> I tack eight. Yep, just keep making best speed. If you are lagging behind the fleet, set your destination to the system I just linked in fleet, I eight dog, and make best speed to that destination, okay? I'm gonna hold us in I eight dog for everyone to um for the stragglers to catch up. Of course they're following. But they won't follow for very long. What? what? You're in ATAC 8, jump, jump, I eat dog. Warping fleet to a perch above the ATAC 8 gate. Because stunningly, I don't have a safe spot in this system. When you come into I8 Dog, warp to Grega. <coughs> but I know we are, we've got a few stragglers. So just make best speed, guys. Those of you who are not with an I8 dog yet, just go gate to gate. It was clear all the way to I8 dog. And here they come. Damn it. Warp and Fleet, WQH. Oh, we're going to lose our stragglers. Warp and Fleet, WQH. Jump on contact. I thought we had a little bit more time before they caught up with us. Ah. Time to run, folks. Damn it. I should have had seven dropping bubbles behind us. Jump, 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 jump. Stra GXI also okay. Uh, seven, if you can safely do so, dropping bubbles behind us, feel free. Jump, jump, but uh, obviously not this system. <coughs> Cold warping, ZXIC, just follow the yellow brick road, guys. Just keep making a run for it. Because they don't have a bubbler, oddly enough. I may, I may lose one or two if you hear on this gate, though, because we got off the gate so slow. Jump on contact, ZXIC. Just basically feel free to jump and warp. Jump and warp. You don't need to wait for the fleet warps. I will keep fleet warping, but we're just going to keep running. We're going to keep running until we get to, well, Jamunda. Uh, 
Dodge that. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, those of you who had set your Desto to I8 Dogs, reset your destination to Berta. And just make a run for it. They may catch some of us, but uh, they won't catch all of us. They're getting ahead of the pods, but yeah. they don't have a bubbler. And our bubbler can't get ahead of them enough to drop defensive bubbles. And they're not picking off stragglers because then they get a one minute timer and that would cause them to fall behind. If you guys are coming back through Utopia door, all that gate jump is bubbled. Roger that. Uh, well, we're coming through Jamunda, so yeah, eventually we'll we'll be there. Um, but we yep. we can dock up and lead to them. Have we lost our saber? Not it yet. Is a saber somewhere in F four? Careful. So jump on contact, jump, jump. Remember, click your jump button while you're in warp. That way, you can jump immediately. If I had a mid safe, I would actually. Oh, I have an idea. No, I better not. We're too spread out. I am stunned at their discipline in not picking somebody off. And look at that. Somebody tackled someone. Um, sorry, Thosakali. Looks like you're going to die. Are you in our fleet? Yes, you are. Those the Cali, try and crash the gate. But they all just tackled and started shooting you, which means they're not going to have a weapons timer for a, mo uh, a minute, which will actually give us time to get in front of them. I love a good run. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty thrilling, man. <laughs> Same here. Remarkable fleet discipline on their part. Jump, jump, 1P. Jump, jump, 1P. Just keep keep going, guys. And this time, we had time to drop a bubble, it looks like. Because if you're already in warp, when the bubble goes up, you don't get caught by the bubble. Warping fleet, cold warping fleet, Jamunda. I got 14 of us with, us, with me still. <laughs> this is so much fun. Should I hang out in uh, Jamunda or just keep running? Okay, I see some of you guys coming into Utopia. There is a, uh, a bubble and a hooting on the Dolvio gate. Roger that. And there, in pod at the we're going to stop. There is a saber on the other side of the Doral gate, too. Saber, right. uh, Sveeple, and... We're going to stop in Leetome, dock up, get the pods into new bro into rookie ships, and let hopefully some of the stragglers will s still be able to catch us, catch up with us. So we'll be stopping in Leetome. So, Harpy, I uh, mean, um, Hagen, just stop in Leetome. Jump, jump, Jamunda. Leetome has one in local. No, sorry, Jamunda has one in local. Othello, well, how'd you get so far behind us? But you know what you're doing. Warping fleet, Leetome. Well, at least you know that the uh, the fleet's well. The fleet's probably coming back your way, Othello. We own Litom. Ah, I see, Othello. Yeah, smart of you though to head back the other way. Very good, Othello. Jump, jump, Litom. We're gonna dock up in Litom. Give a couple of minutes for any stragglers that are lucky that managed to catch up with us to catch up with us and get uh, pods into rookie ships. That was a good chase. That was a good fight followed a good, by a good, you know, GTFO run. <laughs> See, I shouldn't have stopped for a moment and I ate dog. I knew they were following us, but I didn't realize they were that close. There's repair facilities in the Guardian Angels station. Okay. So, we are docking up in the Guardian Angels station. Broadcasting. Phil, you got any of the safe spots saved in there?
Well, you just do what you can. Make them work for it. That's another thing, man. If they're going to kill you, make them work for it. Run, kill them, double back, wait out, whatever. You make them work for it. And look, they just chased us for, what, eight systems? And killed one that I know of. Dock up. Docking permission requested. Fleet regroup point is the Guardian Angel Station in Leeton. It is linked in fleet. Go ahead and repair if you're still in the ship. Rookie ships. I mean, capsules. Go ahead and generate, you know, spawn yourself a rookie ship. Get a rookie ship, click the board my corvette button just below the Guardian Angels on dock sign. This is awesome. 22 out of 31 of us are here in system with us. And I have ended up 41 jumps away from you. And yep, Chip Dealer, you're in head GP. So yeah, you're actually, you're right next to high sec, Chip. I'm in high sec now. <coughs> <laughs> All right. The uh, unfortunately, the um, fleet composition that shows me what people are in and where they're at only updates like every minute or two, so I'm often a little bit behind. But you got yourself out safe. Nice job. So yeah, you have to click on board my Corvette. It doesn't automatically spawn a rookie ship for you anymore. All right, let me see where everybody is at. So, we have one there, two. We only have four people in Berta? Shocking. Wow, great job, guys. Really great escape. All right, Snail, you're in F4R. All right, so you went around the other way. Okay, so Snail, you should catch up with us here any moment now. We are in Litone. I'm showing you an F4R. You can do it, old fellow! So, Chip, unfortunately from Kaburs, it's like 28 jumps via high sec to get back to Berta. <laughs> And I'm actually thinking of calling it a roam once we get back to Bird because... It's Do we have enough to take on a Hugin and a Swipple? Uh, yes. Where are they at? That is what is on the Warp Disruptor in Utopia. Awesome. What's their name? So, two remember? more ships on the other side of the gate, too. A Swipple and something else I don't remember. Hey, I would take that in an all-rookie ship roam. You know me. Because I know we can kill one of them. Alright, I'm just waiting for everybody to get out of pods. Uh, Alright, you're there. Okay, so Ma Matox, Pram Jockey, I'm still... Nope, you're in capsules. Rinse is in Berta. Alright, I think we're ready to undock. Um, so here's one little trick with Corvettes. Don't have to bother doing this now, but you can if you want. If you, un you know, leave your ship repackage the Corvette, I mean, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, <sighs> Corvette, not, not repackage, uh, yeah, repackage it, and then reassemble it, you'll then have two guns that you can load on your Corvette. In Leto, Othello. Although Othello, the way the route you're taking uh, is going to take you back, probably towards those shit, if I remember right. Double checking. Where are you at right now, Othello? Ah, okay. Oh, nice job, Othello. Man, you really do know how to stay alive. 
All right, we'll wait for Othello. He's three hops away. We'll wait for him to get to Leetome, and then we shall undock and head out. So if you need to, go grab a drink or hit the bio real quick. you got about two and a half, three minutes. So quick two-minute, three-minute bio. Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> we had a good fight. Nice. I like it when they're kind of long and drawn out, those fights, you know, when they're not over too fast. And then we had... A spectacular escape run where, as far as I know, it looks like they only killed two stragglers. They only caught two stragglers, which is really amazing. Yeah, that run was actually more thrilling than the fight. <laughs> they, you know, hi go. in the history of Redemption, our escapes have traditionally always been way cooler than the, the actual fight. <laughs> I'll never forget this one time where all we had left, the only thing that survived was, t was it two or four? It was Lodgy pilots. Was, I think there were four of them. And three of them, the only DPS they had was three of them had kill male whoring drone, one kill male yeah. whoring drone in them. And it took like an hour and a half for them to get out. And we were all like just sitting here, bated breath while we were all, while the rest of the fleet, because... Of for a variety of reasons, it took us forever to all that get back Huguenus, to Burden Reship. Hmm? Hugin is still in the bubble and it's about 50 clicks off the gate, so if we can kill it before his buddies arrive. I'm okay with his buddies arriving. Gonna, everybody needed a moment to shake off the, you know, the adrenaline anyway. Oh, but we were all just sitting here in comms. We baited breath, and then finally we had gotten back to Berta. We reshipped, and then we started coming towards them and caught up with them um, in catch. I mean, in curse, and they were um, being uh, gate camped. They were being camped, and if I remember right, it was HG or CL. And so we reshipped in Berta, came back down, bust, you know, spiked local the camp. Broke up immediately the moment we jumped in the local and got our Lodgy pilots home. That was a great room. I'll never forget that one. But I'm still playing it by ear, but I will probably call it a room when we get back to Berta. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a quick run into Pravi. I'm going to play it by ear and decide when we get there. Okay, Othello, where are you at now? You should have been here by now. Oh, yeah, you're in local. Okay. Oh, I've got Space Warfare Development and Othello. Oh, why am I getting the two of you confused? You're not in local. I saw Space Warfare Development, and for some reason I th thought it was you, Othello. Yes, Space Warfare Development, you are the, old, the more famous one. Yeah, you're the one who didn't make it on the cruise, if I remember right. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't out you like that. Hey, you know, I got another cruise planned. We are going on a nine-day Baltic Sea cruise on June 15th through J June 16th. Sorry, June 15th through June 26th. And it's going to be so awesome. Probably a little smaller group than the Alaska one, but... Oh, I'm sorry to hear you lost your job. Othello, why are you not in system yet? Everybody else, let's go ahead and undock, undock. If you're not back from break, X up and fleet. Oh, Well, hopefully the Huguen will go back. Everybody go ahead and undock, undock. Destination should be Berta. And I just got to applaud you all. That was a great job with the escape, despite some people getting lost, going other directions and stuff like that. They, uh, as far as I can tell, they only got two of us on the escape. Okay. Warping fleet. You, oh, wait, there's a bubble on the Utopia gate in Leetome, you said, right? Uh, no, on the Doral Gate in Utopia. Okay. Warping Fleet, Utopia. Hold on, Gate. 
so I can make sure nobody's still docked. Yep, looks like everybody's undocked. Okay, Othello, hurry up. Hold on gate for a moment. So... If you want to time it right, I can try to get the Hugin. Yeah, see if you can try and get him. We are holding on the Utopia Utopia gate in Litum. 70 AU. Oof. All right. Oh. Let me know when you're ready for me to uh, try to go for it. I just saw that somebody was chatting in the Twitch chat. Sorry, I missed that fun ink. <laughs> I kind of completely forgot I was still broadcast. I was still broadcasting. Okay, go for it. Let me know when you want us to jump in. I would say in about five seconds, jump. Jump, jump. Are you in the are you in the bubble? Front. Say again? Trying to stay alive. I have point on him. Warp to me. Okay, warping a coaxer, warping a coaxer. Warp and fleet. If you miss the warp, warp yourself to coaxer. Yeah, I I kinda of figured it was you, Kiakti, but I didn't want to presume. <laughs> Come on. We're landing. We're, we're, it's a long warp. Okay, well, we're not quite landing. We're like 40 AU out, but we're landing. I'm down. Is he Let me get a point, quick. Secondary, secondary. Ah, brilliant. Your sacrifice shall be avenged, Coaxter. My props for the journey. It's moving quick. Stay nice on Nickaroo. Friend. Stay on him. Just start killing them, guys. The moment you land, start killing them. Hugin. Peter. Oh, it's Peter Paul. Kill the Hugin. Kill the Hugin. We're landing like 20 off of him, so we should be able to get him pretty quick. We're going to need some. Uh, we need webs and scrams on him. Webs and scrams. On that Hugin. All DPS. Feel free to. Oh, oh we might have to kill the sites first. But just overheat a little bit on the Hugin. Let's see if we can beat the reps. I don't want to have to kill the, the scythe first. There we go. Come on. Overheat a little bit. Don't burn out your guns, though. There we go. We're, we're beating the reps. We're beating the reps. Overheat, but do not burn out your guns. Whoops. Could you link the target? It's Peter Pohl. Peter Pohl and the Hugin broadcasting. He's going down. He's going down. Overheat, but don't burn out your guns. Excellent. Get the scythe. Get the scythe. Jan Black and the scythe is now primary. Point of the scythe. Peter might bring, he might bring out his uh, Thanatos now that we've killed him, we'd be mad. Damn it, I, I got out of range of the scythe. Ugh! Wasn't paying attention. I am a terrible pilot. I may be a reasonably good FC, but I'm a terrible pilot. Just kill that scythe, guys. Excellent! Loot the Rex! Recall drones, kill the bubble. Oh, wait, they're, you know, kill the one bubble. As soon as our bubbles are down, I'll bounce this off a of tactical. Call drones. Yeah, recall drones. Loot racks. Kill the, kill the uh, mobile small warp disruptor. Woohoo! And now, aren't you all glad I didn't I didn't have you self-destruct your pods back?
bouncing us to a perch. Let's give me in 22 more jumps. And go ahead and link the Hugen Kill Mail and the Scythe Kill Mail so I can show them. If you miss warp, warp to Grey Gow. Warp to Grey Gow. Hugin was 285 million on Zico. And Penny, you got the kill. Just trying to remember how to look. Okay, so lower right corner, little notifications icon. Click that, and then click on the kill mail, and then just click and drag it in. Empty pod. Just waiting for the weapons timer to go down. Also waiting on the Hugin kill mail. Uh, Brudix is landing on the Doro gate. Roger that. Yeah, that's right Warping fleet. Oh, yeah, it's pure. Warping fleet. Hold on gate, hold on gate. That's hope you hold tight. That's hope you hold tight. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna tangle with them on this side. Zero Zero, go ahead and warp to the gate. There you go. Oh, he's trying to he's aggroed now. Uh, shoot the Brutix. Yep, he's, he's aggro now. He's aggro. He tried to shoot Coaxer, so he's aggro. He's got one minute. Let's go ahead and shoot the Brutix. This might take a while, though. If he wants to give us another kill mail, we'll take it. I told you, it's really mad. Here's an executor coming up. That's one of his guys. Yep. Check Hyperion coming in you. Awesome. Let's just overheat on the Brudix. Let's kill the Brudix real fast. He is going to be whole tank, though. Hyperion pilot is HH. He's starting to get reps, but those reps are nothing I'm worried about. We just overheat on the Brudix. Try not to die. Try, <laughs> try not to burn out your guns, actually. But the Brutix is Hyperion. going down. Hyperion. Hi uh, we'll go for the Hyperion next. Hyperion will be secondary. We still have more DPS than the reps. Overheat on the Brutix. Overheat, overheat. Excellent. Kill the Hyperion. Kill the Hyperion. We might have to switch the executor this time, but let's play it by ear. Yeah, I suggest. Yeah, because the hype's going to be armor tanked. Lock up the executor, lock up the executor. I want to just see how his reps go. Has the Hyperion red boxed anybody? Yeah, Hyperion shot me. Okay, good. Alright, I see some DPS on the Executor. Those of you who are shooting the Executor, go ahead and keep shooting him. Everybody else stay on the Hyperion. We'll split our DPS, which is just a terrible thing to do, but we'll do it. Because it's actually working. A module has run out of charges. I've got nudes on the Executor. Do, if, I don't think we have any Griffins left, otherwise I would say jam the Exec. I will summon him, but I got target. Yeah, do I still have a griffin? I Turn on your invul, GG. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did I mention I'm a really bad pilot, even though I'm a pretty damn good FC? The capacitor is empty. Oh. What system are you guys in? Uh, we are in Utopia. I gotta pull range. My cap is out. But keep killing the hype. Keep killing the hype. He's going to go down a little bit quicker now. The capacitor is empty. I don't have enough cap for my hype. For my uh, invul. The capacitor is empty. 
It's got some self reps. That's alright, we still have enough DPS. The capacitor is empty. Oh, Scorpion coming. Damn. <laughs> That's okay. Overheat on the hype, guys. Overheat on the hype. The capacitor is empty. He's got his newt on me. I'm oh good, I'm out of range on the newt now. And I have guns again. Ah! Look at all the... Re he just re regrouped. He just re repaired all those wraps. That's right, this is fun. Do we switch to the scorpion, or do we stay on the hype? How much DPS do we have left? Yeah, alright. Let's switch to the scorpion, guys. Switch to the scorpion. There's two of them. Now which one? Oh. Let's go for seven of nine. Um, one moment. One moment, I might... Yeah. Go for, uh... I'm just looking at the location, yeah. Seven of nine. Seven of nine is now primary, guys. Seven of nine is now primary. How come going down here? Yeah, we're probably not going to get another kill here, but we're having a good fight. Seven of nine, all DPS. Everybody on seven of nine. We're going to need all of you. If we manage, if we're going to have any chance of pulling this off, we need everybody on seven of nine. I'm still seeing a smidgen of DPS on Peter Pole and the Scorpion. I need everybody on 7 of 9 broadcasting. Move your drones over to 7 of 9. Oh, I think most of the drones are dead. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting some DPS on them. Overheat, but don't burn out your guns. And this is going to be close. Oh, the Scorp just wrapped. He's bait tanking us. But just keep shooting him. Just keep shooting him. Because if we can get through his shields, that Scorp will go down. All DPS on seven of nine. Reshipping at station and be right back. Yes, if you're in a pod, just reship, grab another rookie ship. And get back in the fight. You want to bring over a Brudix? Sure, if you want. Yeah, and guys, if you're in Berta, make best speed to uh, Utopia. I'm seeing DPS on the Hyperion. I need all DPS on the Scorpion. All DPS on the Scorpion. All DPS on 7 of 9 in the Scorpion. But yeah, if you're in Berta, grab something. Come to Utopia. Yeah, we're probably all going to be dead before you get here, though. Let me see how much we got left alive. <laughs> we might have to give this one up. <sighs> I'm about to go down. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it. Damn it. Well, it was good fun while it lasted. And I'm oh, down. Wow. Damn it, I was just about to warp us. 
That's all right. Warping fleet. I'm just going to warp to a deep safe spot real quick. Give him love and local. What a great way. What a great roam. <laughs> Copy that. Good fun. You know, now I'm kind of second guessing myself and thinking maybe I should have stayed on the hype even though it was quite tanky. But we would have eventually, you know, warmed down. Nah, I think you could have maybe jumped off and waited for support ships and just played that game, but good. Yeah, it's, it's about the fight, you know. And we already gotten a couple of kills from them. <laughs> and Peter Pohl, man, the guy is nuts in all the best ways. He will undock anything at anybody, just about. <laughs> just gotta respect that. Always gotta respect. Always. But, yeah, we, we definitely lost quite a bit of DPS, so. All right. Warp to Grey Gal if you miss the warp. I'm just waiting to regroup everybody, and then I shall head us back to Berta. Set Testo to Berta if you don't have it already set. Those of you in Berta, well, stay there. Uh, Tom MK is asking, how long do you usually roam for? Um, between two and three hours, usually, Tom. I see a Navitas, a Velator, and a Reaper on scan. Warp to Gregal, warp to Gregal. Couple more rookie ships heading our way. Okay, guys, this is a this is an incursion safe. So steal it from me, which means go ahead and make a bookmark here. So that way you always have a really, really good bookmark, a really good safe spot in Utopia. Alright. I think just about everybody who's going to land has landed. <coughs> align, align, Doral. That was fun. What a great little run today. Um, Othello, there's a bubble where? Doral? Okay, yeah, it's probably off the gate. Oh, here comes one last person landing. Yeah, that's a long warp, eh? So, save this bookmark. Bookmark this safe spot, I mean. Well, seven of nine was in a scorpion. I doubt he's going to be in a... Well, he might get into a bubbler. Uh, warp and fleet Doral. If you miss the warp, warp yourself. Because I saw somebody just land as I was about to initiate warp. Yeah, Keactium's done. The Thanny never came out. Yeah, Othello, just use the, uh, you know, you should have the uh, bookmark off the Doral Gate. Or you can scout the Doral Gate for us. Jump on contact. Go ahead and hit your jump button while we're in warp, so that way you will jump immediately. Yeah, but if it's not covering the gate, it's not going to be an issue. Oh, he's in a steeple now. Jump, buddy, jump. Hoping to pick some of us off. Cold Warping Fleet, Sandaya. But yeah, on in gates, we only worry about bubbles that are actually on the gate, not on grid with the gate. On out gate, we worry about bubbles that are on grid with the gate. Yeah, I think we're at two... I think we may have exceeded two billion. We're, we're definitely really close to two billion. It's been a really good run. 
and we're almost at three hours, so I think I am going to call it a run when we get back to Berta, because what a high to end it on. It was two great fights. Heck, even the, the first two kills we got were a good fun fight. Jump, jump, Sandaya. Oh, wait. Did I get... No, no, I didn't get us caught in a bubble. Paying attention there, Gray Gal. Jumpity, jump, 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 jump. Hoppity hop. And don't forget, we have a Bolt Nine Day Cruise. Cold Warping Fleet, Mifrada. Uh, yeah, nobody in local, so I'm not worried about any kind of. Um, oh, there goes my phone again. I like go months without my phone ever ringing, and then suddenly it r my phone rings twice on a Sunday. Thank you, Jason. Jason's reporting all clear back to Berta, so just best speed back to Berta, guys. Thank you all, again, for joining us today. It was great fun, Rome. Got a lot of nice kills. Really good fun fights. I'm bringing us home mostly in pods. Op success. <laughs> Pod recon. I ran that Alagos on two missions with you guys, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Eleven kills. Somebody was saying they got on eleven kill males. I think we had seventeen kills all told. And many, many thanks to those who brought the fight, especially Brave, because we love Brave. And that was that was a really, really interesting fight in its own way. So they'd have been better off just staying right in, you know, right on top of us, even though they were in harpies, staying on top of us and all. Uh, but yeah, somebody, I think it was Red. I'm not sure if he's still in Fleet. No, he's not. But he had asked about anchoring and why I don't anchor. Harpies, though. No, I don't. Actually, I don't know. I, but 150 millimeter rail guns. They were? Yeah. Oh yeah, and Peter Pohl, he always brings us kill. Well, he's killed us a lot. There's been times we've, we've taken the pole the Peter Pole bait and I lost half the fleet before I gave it up and didn't even get into his armor. <laughs> you know what would be funny is surprise him by having a bunch of carriers stayed in Ethiopia and just like lob them. Well, sometimes they'll undock a Thanny. Warp and fleet should do, jump in contact. And then that escape run. <laughs> that, that was awesome. That was awesome. Remarkable fleet uh, discipline on their part. That they didn't attempt to tackle any of us for, I think it was eight systems. But if they had tackled... Yeah, that's really amazing. You know, I think they were hoping to get just enough ahead of us that they could then stop, set up the way they wanted to set up and catch us. And, you know, they were keeping up with us and starting to pull in front of us. And then they decided to kill one, you know, to tackle somebody, and then that bought us the minute of time we needed to get enough ahead of them that it wasn't worth chasing us anymore. That was a, probably one of the most unusual escapes I've ever had, because usually they'll just go one or two jumps, three jumps at the most, and then just try and pick off a couple of stragglers. And Othello going the opposite direction and you know to avoid them and then coming back this direction because they caught up with you know they turned around and went back and that was and then finally catching up with us that was that was really cool Othello great job everybody great job keeping up with the fleet um, just yeah I hope I got everybody's hand shaking and heart pumping thank you to those of you who watched on stream this was my very first time streaming and Eve you know, doing an Eve stream. Oh, were you streaming on Twitch? Yes, I was. I still am, rather, right now. <laughs> sure, Twitch ID. Gray gal. LinkedIn fleet. 
but that was one of my New Year's resolutions was to start uh, streaming our new brew rooms. Uh, I also uh, streamed my cookie baking <laughs> a couple of back uh, right before Christmas. I think that might still be in the videos and you know in the past broadcasts. If you want to see me and uh, Tecla having fun with my Alexa and text to voice chat. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Alexa. <laughs> Othello, do you have our bookmark attack? Never mind. Alexa, never check? mind. But I am going to go ahead and call it around. I think it's a good, perfect spot to stop it at. Thank you again, everybody, for flying and dying with me. It's way to go. Thank you, Ari. Uh, Baltic Sea Cruise information is linked in the MOTD, if you're interested in that. Next room will be... Let me reload the MOTD. Next room is going to be a Jeff Jeff room on the 2nd. Uh, I'll be taking this out again in February on the 16th. Might do a bit of a Valentine's flavor to that one. I'll play it by ear, but that'll be our next uh, Nubro room will be Sunday, February 16th. Othello, send Gen Z a private chat a link. Oh, no, Ari. I, I won't run for CSM because I, I like that people like me. <laughs> yeah, it seems like once, you know, you could be like one of the most beloved EVE players ever and then you get on the CSM and then everybody hates you. <laughs> Othello, how can you be broke? I mean, come on, just at Christmas you got, like, I think everybody got close to a billion in stuff from Santa Claus. Excuse me, Santa Claus, not Claus. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's going to be a good cruise. Although airfares just skyrocketed because of the oil price fears. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream here now. Thank you again, everyone. And thank you all who came on the round.